all I gotta say. Hey. Football back, yeah. Football back, football back, football back. All I gotta say. Hi, uh, this is Joe Daniel with FootballDefense.com. Today we're taking a look at America's Fire Zone, the most popular zone blitz that there is in the game today. One you'll see all the time on Saturdays and Sundays in college and the NFL. The ones you'll be seeing more of on Friday nights in high school. And as the zone blitz continues to become more popular, even at the lower levels. So here we're looking at a 4-3 defense that we're going to run this out of. Uh, I love the 4-3 defense for running fire zone blitzes. I think you can also get a great look out of the 3-4. Uh, your seven-man front is going to be great for this. But you can also work your fire zone with a 3-5, uh, with a 4-2-5 or a 4-4 defense. You can work your fire zone blitzes um, just a little bit different angles. You can even work it into your 46 bear front if you wanted to use that too. Here we've got our 4-3 our defense, so an America's fire zone is going to be a weak side overload. An overload stunt means that we're bringing more guys to one side of the formation than the offense can block. Um, we're going to overload just one side, though. Here. We're going to overload the weak side. Uh, this is usually going to be a blitz that we would want to bring uh, from the boundary. Uh, we're going to get a short edge here, and I'm going to show you a number of ways that you can expand on this blitz as well. First thing we've got, we want our three technique to really bust through the outside hip of this tackle. So on the snap of the ball, he's stepping out and busting this outside hip because he's going to be the contained player to the strong side on the pass. So you want to have an offensive or an athletic off, uh, defensive tackle here. He's going to be able to get outside and contain this player. We call this a slam technique where he's slamming through the hip of this tackle, getting as wide as he can right now. Our nose guard is going to be lined up in a one technique, shaded on the center. He's going to cross face and rip through that A-gap. He's going to rip through the A-gap, and his pass rush lane is going to be on the inside eye, or the play side eye, of that quarterback. Tackles looking at the shoulder of that quarterback. Over here, our defensive end has a long cut technique. And a long cut technique, he's going to step in, he's going to step across face, then he's going to cross over his back foot in front of his front foot, cross over, and then he's going to attack to the hip of this guard right here. So he's looking at the hip of that guard. If that guard comes to him, he's immediately going to cross face, rip across his face, and then work his way up the field. If the guard has gone down, then he'll just work tight to the hip of the guard, squeeze that space down. So he doesn't have to cross two gaps here. He's only going to cross two gaps if this guy comes to him. If he gets a pass set, he's going to want to work his way to the inside for his pass rush lane. He is responsible for the eye uh, or the nose of that quarterback, so he wants to be to the, to the middle of the pass rush. For our backers, our Mike backer is going to come tight off the hip of the defensive end. So as this defensive end comes down, he's going to come right off his hip and through the B gap. So if this end crosses face, of this guard. If the guard attacks him, then the mic should be coming free. If the guard misses him, then he may pick up the end, but he may be so confused he doesn't pick up anything. The mic is rushing here, again looking at that uh, eye of the quarterback to his side. And our wheel back on the snap is rushing. Contained pass rush. He's looking at the back shoulder of this quarterback, looking at that back shoulder of the quarterback, and making sure that there's no way this quarterback is going to break contain on him and get outside. Um, we're going to flush this thing with so much pressure coming here. We're going to probably end up flushing this quarterback out to this side, why it's so important that the tackle gets with now. Now, along with this, as a zone blitz, uh, if it's a run, if we get a run read, then our linebacker, our Sam linebacker, who's not going, our defensive end who's not going, we're going to continue to attack the play as normal. So the Sam linebacker resteps. If he sees a run read, a uh, run block off of these guys, the tight end and the tackle, he's going to still feel, fill it up like normal. We've got all of our gaps taken care of. It's a great blitz. Our defensive end is going to step. If he gets a run read, he's going to continue to go. He'll be there to help contain the play. However, if he gets a pass set or a pass release out of the tight end, so instead of the tight end, he goes to release on a pass. If we get a pass set out of the tackle, these guys are now reading pass and we're going to drop them off. Depending on who you want to go where, and it's up to you, you've got three 
underneath zones to take care of in the fire zone and the way that we're going to use the fire zone. Three underneath zones to take care of and three deep zones to take care of. How you want to get them taken care of is up to you. It doesn't matter as long as somebody gets in that area. This corner is going to have a deep third. Corner is going to have a deep third. On the blitz side, the safety of the blitz side, he's going to get the backers on his side giving him some sort of a call saying that they're going, saying they're blitzing, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, letting the safety know. Now the safety knows is coming, he's making a crash call that he's going to be coming down to work the flats. So the free safety in this case is coming down to cover the flats. Um, he may not need to even drop down or maybe shuffle him out to handle it, uh, but he's going to be there in position to handle this flat zone. We can either bring the end or the Sam linebacker to drop to the middle of the field. We see very few passes over the middle of the field. So most of the time, we want the weaker pass coverage guy, usually our defensive end, to be in the middle. So we're going to, as the defensive end comes and he reads a pass out of a pass relief out of this tight end, he's going to get to the middle of the field. Okay, he doesn't have to get there fast because really, in this situation, the only threat to the middle of the field as a tight end or a back releasing late. Run read by the safety and by the Sam linebacker. He reads a pass set by the tackle and he's getting out to the flat. With everything covered underneath, the deep third's covered. We're getting our strong safety covering the deep third in the middle. We've got three under three deep. We've got a ton of pressure coming with this quarterback. We've got more guys than they can block if they try to release more than three guys to go past. So if we have a formation out here where they're going to get only one guy in there, we've got five coming. They're overloaded from the left side. This guy's really got to get rid of the ball in a hurry. He's going to be having a lot of confusion because he's not going to be able to tell who's handling what zones. Great blitz to get some pressure on that quarterback, especially your pocket passers. Now, do be aware that if this guy is a runner, if he breaks your contain out here on your tackle, you can't have some problems. You can definitely run some problems there. One way to fix that is that you can now turn this into a six-man blitz. Bring your defensive end on the contain rush. Now you just want to run a cover one man coverage with one safety behind it. Um, and that would be where you would lock the corner, uh, roll the safety down and lock him on. You would lock this on, and you could bring a backer out to, to lock down the other guy. Uh, so you've got some options here to so lock down the tight end. So you can do that if you're really concerned about this overload blitz flushing the quarterback and not having anybody out there to contain it. So it gives you some options. Uh, America's Fire Zone, fantastic blitz. Most popular blitz there is out of the, uh, the Fire Zone blitz is a great blitz out of the 4-3. You'll see it almost every 4-3 football team is going to run this. And almost every college and even NFL team is going to run some variation of this blitz. Hope it's something that you can look at for your defensive package down the road if it's not already in there. Really going to give you a way to get good pressure on the quarterback and even a good run-stopping blitz. Great blitz to run against your zone read, um, especially when you got the quarterback here. If you've got a zone read concept quarterback coming out, if you're concerned about that quarterback, this is going to give him a funky read where he's going to want to keep the football because that defensive end crashes, and he's going to have a lot of pressure in his face when he keeps it. So it's another uh, one that you can use not only against the pass, but against the run. Stop by our website, footballdefense.com. There you can sign up for the free newsletter as well as download the free ebook, a defensive installation manual. Um, just sign up for that. I'm going to just send you a newsletter every week or two, letting you know what's going on with footballdefense.com, let you know about specials and sales we have on our ebooks. Hope to see you over there. Thanks for listening and have a great day. Strap. All I gotta say is football back.